everybody. I'm here with Lexi Gizzy at Northridge Middle School, and she is here to tell us about how Nearpod has changed her class. So, yes. What's Nearpod? Well, I love Nearpod because it is something that easily can be made from a PowerPoint that most already have. Um, the kids have a device right in front of their face a whole class period. So, whatever was or used to be on the board. Now I can interact with them from the board and their devices. Um, or I do a mix of having stuff on their devices from their PowerPoint and doing things on the board for them to look at. Um, I think it's a good classroom management too because instead of them squinting, looking around people's heads, trying to look at the board, now they have it, you know, right in front of them. Um, and also, it does so many things. It's really interactive and engaging, and it has like polls that you can make quizzes on, um, a board where you can collaborate and they can like each other's stuff. It's just so many things that you can change with the click of a button, and it's so easy. That's why I love it. Okay, so how do you how do you manage that with not a full set of devices? Good question. Okay, so. Um, that's what a lot of people have been asking me. Honestly, this year, a lot of my kids do have um, actual cell phones because mm -hmm. it works from a cell phone. Um, but I know another teacher I work with, she has less kids with cell phones. So um, I, I just borrow mm -hmm. from when days I know that they need the whole class period, I kind of like, you know, borrow from other math teachers or other departments or our library has a checkout. One. Okay. But yes, that has been an issue in some cases because it is way better for everyone to have their own. But um, uh, who I work with, she did it where they share a Chromebook. Okay. I wouldn't share a phone because it's kind of small, yeah. which you'll see, but a Chromebook would be a good... It works okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what's your what's your favorite thing about Nearpod? Um, I would say the collaboration board because they can see what each other put and the cool thing about it is is I'm not s scared for them to share things because I can approve it before so if they put something silly I can be like nope um, so that's the one I like because it's kind of like Facebook they can like mm -hmm. each other's stuff and they love to say like hey like mine mine you know and then you can also another thing that I love about it is you can share kids work um, or share one that you like or a misconception that you want the whole class to see and so you can just share it and then they don't know who it is so mm. they're comfortable Keep with anonymous. yes everything's yeah. anonymous you, they don't when they post they don't know whose is who right. unless they say it out loud which is their choice so <laughs> it's so, yes. yes so math typically isn't a, a subject traditionally that has a lot of uh, PowerPoint presentation. It's right. more a lot of like you modeling how to do the equations and that sort of thing. So how, what did you have to change in your planning to integrate Nearpod into the class? Okay, a few things that I've learned because some of the stuff that I did was um, trial and error and would mess up. Um, That's what we call learning. Yes, <laughs> definitely learning. I, yes, I'm learning. Um, <laughs> I, I sometimes do both. I have them do, or I put my, you know, word problems on um, the PowerPoint and then I'll like show the steps on the board and then I'll, before I would have taken a picture of my work as a whole mm. and then let them see it close to their desk after they've written it, then they can look at mine um, in comparison to what we just did on the board together. Okay. So yeah, that's a really good question because when I first did it, I would take a picture of my work and it would just be on my PowerPoint, but I think they were missing this the aspect of like me doing each step and knowing why. So that was one thing that I did have to change because I think that was an issue with the math part of it. Yeah. So. So what's been the um, like the response? Have you seen uh, any sort of improvement by doing it with near, doing your class uh, with Nearpod, or have the students been the same? Are they more engaged, less in, less engaged? How what impact has it made on your class? Hundred percent participation and engagement of course you might have all the time one kid but of course there's one kid yeah but overall I would say a hundred percent engagement the only thing I would say is a downfall 
actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is unless they're really, really tricky. Um, is them going to different tabs? Um, but I, since I have an iPad, um, I walk around and I so instead of sitting at my computer pushing mm -hmm. next because I'm in charge of the PowerPoint moving it, so um, I can walk around and they don't dare, you know, yeah. go on another website. So, but I would say 100% participation. Um, and I'm always getting immediate feedback with the questions that I'm posting, like what, why did you get this answer or what is the answer? And they choose, you know, A, B, C, or D, or they type open-ended answers. Like I got 27.5 or, or 27 and 5, um, and I can see immediate feedback very mm -hmm. quickly and it's easy to differentiate, at, you know, like that totally. instead of one by one with my eyes, it's now all on my iPad. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Advertisement for Project Innovate Training, if you haven't gone yet, um, the iPads are valuable. Yes. Um, so if you were in a, sitting down, if I sat you down with a teacher who was nervous about bringing Nearpod into their class, no matter the subject, what would you say to them? I get it. New stuff is always like, oh, I don't know. Like, I, what's... What I'm doing now is working. I would say you can either create and make it um, something totally new and like wow, or I mean, or you can just do step by step. And um, I I wouldn't say it changed anything that I was doing. It was just how mm -hmm. I was doing it or how I was presenting it. Mm -hmm. um, and then so I would say it. I mean, it's so easy, so easy. It's not. I know it's something like risky to, but I mean the kids got on it like that. It took yeah. me a day for them to like really understand how to get on Nearpod and then now I just put on the code and they all come in and boop, 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 and then we're ready. So, and, and just to <clears throat> clarify for those that aren't, uh, they don't understand or know about Nearpod, when you say you're controlling it from your iPad, when you change the slide on your iPad, mm -hmm. it changes it on all the student devices at yes. the same time. Yes, so it's it's literally, I'm in control of what we're doing. Like, if I messed up on a question, you know, I don't have to say, okay, never mind, we're not doing number five, y'all just go to the next one. And they're like, wait, are we in number five? You know, so I am literally in control. If I'm like, nope, 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 they're like, what's happening? Like, it's changing. But it's, I, I am in total control of what they're seeing. Absolutely control. So that's, awesome. I like. Teacher's best friend, right? Yeah, control, yeah. yes. Awesome. So Awesome. Well, if you have any questions about Nearpod, I love it. I could be on Lexi. their infomercial. Yes. <laughs> Next commercial, she's going <laughs> to yes. be on it. Yes. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you.